Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ohio Association of College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. We want to thank you for joining us tonight. Just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. Um, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are turned off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening this evening, so please be sure to sign up for additional sessions happening in the next two hours after this presentation. It is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website in which you registered. Now, with that being said, I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter of the evening, um, and that is going to be Southern Illinois University. Hello, thank you so much for having us today. My name is Kennedy Lloyd and I am an admissions coordinator with Southern Illinois University. I'm gonna go ahead and get my presentation pulled up here. Okay, so we are Southern Illinois University. And so starting off, we are located in Carbondale, Illinois. So that is in Southern Illinois. And just to give you a quick snapshot of our university, we are a research university. And what this means is that all of our faculty and all of our academic departments that we have on campus, they are involved in research. So faculty are doing research, writing articles, going to conferences, they're active in their field. And what this gives our students is the opportunity to be doing research while they're also in their programs. So starting as early as their freshman year, they can reach out to the department to say, hey, I wanna get involved in research. And these are sometimes volunteer opportunities and also paid opportunities where students can be actively assisting their faculty members and professors in their field. And so by the time they graduate with us, not only do they have the credential, but then they also have the hands-on experience. So that's a really unique opportunity that we offer for our students. Currently, we have about 10,000 undergraduate students and then we have over 100 countries represented on campus. And by the time you include our graduate students, our School of Law and Medicine, we have about 13,000 students on campus. And currently our faculty to student, or sorry, student to faculty ratio is 13 to one. And what this means is that class sizes are gonna be smaller and you're gonna get to have really personalized interactions with your professors. You're not gonna be a nameless face in a classroom, um, but you're really gonna get to know them on a more personalized level. So another important thing to note is that we invest in our students. And so over 90% of our students receive some sort of financial assistance, whether this be in the form of scholarships or grants. Um, we really do our best to help as many students as we can um, to help them come to our university. And so we do not have out-of-state tuition. All of our, um, as long as you are a domestic non-resident student, you are charged our in-state tuition rate. And then also for students who their parents are alumni of our institution, we have a legacy tuition rate. Um, so definitely if you're looking to apply with us, we will do our best to help you any way that we can with scholarships and grants. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. For new students, we have what is called merit-based scholarships. And these are scholarships that are awarded to students who simply meet GPA criteria. So when you apply, we evaluate your transcript and depending on what your GPA is at, we will offer you a scholarship based off of that level. And so these are some of those scholarship opportunities. There is the Saluki Gold, Saluki Silver, and Saluki Maroon. So if you meet those GPA requirements, you are automatically granted those scholarships. We also have some competitive scholarships, um, again, based off of GPA that if you meet those minimum GPA requirements, um, you are either awarded these scholarships or you have the opportunity to apply for them. So again, take a look at these scholarships and if you qualify for these, definitely you know, see if this is something that would benefit you. So we do have on-campus housing. We have both residence halls and apartments for students who have finished their first year. And so included with our residence, we have suite style um, rooms. We have an anytime meal plan. And then included with housing is all utilities, cable, internet, computer labs, furnished rooms, AC and heat. So any amenity that you're gonna need, we have it located in our residence halls. So one thing that is important to note is that we are the Salukis. And so we are um, NCAA division one sports and we are part of the Missouri Valley Conference. So football, basketball, baseball, a lot of major sports, we have those teams on campus. So that is a lot of fun. Um, and students get to go to these games at no cost. 
Um, so definitely, if this is something you're interested in, um, come check us out. I know our basketball team is doing good, so maybe look us up in that way. Um, but we are the Salukis, which as SIU, we are the only university in the country with the mascot of the Saluki. Um, so that makes us kind of unique in that way. So this is our current estimated budget for students. So the current budget for tuition is about $9,638, fees $5,266, room and board a little over $10,000 um, with an overall estimated cost of $25,526. And so that is a little bit about us. So if you are interested, definitely apply with us to get the process going. And um, we have online applications. And so once you submit your application, we just ask that you send us your transcripts and we're able to process your admissions decision based off of that. And then also check us out on social media. We are always posting things about different activities going on on campus, um, different places on campus, student features. Um, so definitely check us out on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. And thank you so much. Thank you very much. The next school we're gonna hear from this evening is St. Mary's College. There we go. Got to get my video going first. Um, so I'm Rachel Mia. I'm the Associate Director of Admission Marketing at St. Mary's College. Um, St. Mary's College is a small private um, Catholic liberal arts college located in Notre Dame, Indiana, right across the street from the University of Notre Dame. Um, we are a women's college at the undergraduate level uh, and we are co-ed at the graduate level. So here at St. Mary's, we really do pride ourselves on our um, academic excellence and the individualized um, education that we offer to our students. So from your time working with admission all the way through to your time as an alumna, um, you will, um, you'll get to know your professors, all of your classes will be taught by professors. Um, so you will really get the benefits of getting to know your faculty. And part of that is the um, the working on communication skills, you know, really um, our class sizes are about 16 students total. So um, you're not going to be afraid to raise your hand and talk to your professors or go to office hours or anything like that. We do have over 50 academic programs. Some of our more popular programs include things like um, communication studies, business, biology, nursing. Um, we have psychology and education that are some great programs as well. We also have some individualized programs that are a little more unique. We have um, a speech language pathology program, both at the undergrad and at the graduate level that offers clinical experiences right on our campus. And then we have a great uh, co-ed program in engineering with the University of Notre Dame. So our students graduate with degrees from both institutions in engineering. Um, and then we offer great research opportunities for our students as well. We're really big on hands-on experience, on um, leadership opportunities, on really learning in that way. And that's actually one way that getting to know your faculty can really help with that. So our faculty get to know our students so well that they're often able to bring them into research that they're doing or um, research that they know other professors are doing. So one great example of that that we have, we have a professor in our biology program who studies echolocation in bats and dolphins. And she got a grant to travel down south and go cave diving and study bats in their natural element. And she actually brought students with her on that. And some of those students were working with her on her project. They were also interested in echolocation, but she had others that were studying aerodynamics, looking at bat flight. She had a group that was looking at um, bat biology in a different way. They were looking at bat droppings. They were very excited. They found some new kind of bacteria. Um, but that's just one example of the great way that our professors getting to know our students can really kind of help them and make those connections um, and really further them in their academic careers. Now, as I mentioned, we are a women's college. So um, you can see there on the screen some of the benefits of a women's college education. This is actually women's colleges as a whole, not just St. Mary's, but on a whole, as a whole, women who graduate from um, women's college are more likely to complete a graduate degree than their public university counterparts. And they also um, report that they feel better prepared for their jobs. So um, our students really find that this experience is very empowering. All of the decisions on campus are made with women in mind. So um, they're really able to look at, um, to find their voice, to get leadership opportunities. And they really find it to be a very transformative experience. And the results kind of speak for themselves. So 95% of our recent graduates are employed or enrolled in graduate school by a year after graduation. Um, they really are able to kind of go out there and get the grad degree that they're looking for to get the jobs that they are looking for. Um, we have a career crossings office on campus that works very closely with our students and our alumni even. Our alumni can also take advantage of that. 
Um, they put on internship fairs and career fairs throughout the year. But one of the great things about our relationship with the University of Notre Dame that I'm going to talk about in a minute is that our students can also take part in internship fairs and career fairs across the street at Notre Dame as well. So lots of great opportunities for our students to, um, to really get out there and to find the, the job of their dreams. And we really find that the value of a St. Mary's education is priceless. So 100% of our students receive some form of financial aid. Um, part of that is merit scholarships, which every incoming student is considered for. Uh, this year, they range between $15,000 and $30,000 per year, renewable for all four years. Um, and then we also make it available, we also make it um, very affordable for our students through our four-year promise. So we, um, about 91% of our graduates graduate in four years, so you're not paying for that extra, those extra years of education. Um, and our four-year promise states that if you stick to the rules of the promise, which are pretty much, much what you would expect, things like no academic probation, um, that we'll pay for any classes needed over that four-year mark. Um, and we're consistently ranked in the top 100 liberal arts colleges for U.S. News and World Report. Um, as I mentioned, we have a great relationship with the University of Notre Dame and also with Holy Cross College down the street, which forms our tri-campus community. Um, that relationship is in some ways academic. So as I mentioned, we have that great engineering program, but our students can also starting sophomore year take one class per semester at Notre Dame and then senior year it's two classes per semester. They can take part in clubs and organizations across the street at Notre Dame, uh, dances and social events, they get student tickets to Notre Dame football games. So we really like to say that our students get the best of both worlds. They get this great um, small campus feel at, at uh, St. Mary's, the personalized attention, but they don't have to sacrifice anything that they would get at a larger institution, the things like the sports and things like that, they can also get at Notre Dame. So our admission process, you can see our deadlines on the screen. We do have early decision, which is a binding, um, a binding way to apply. We are on the Common App. We also have our own homegrown Dare to Discover app. Uh, we are still accepting applications on a space available basis for fall 2021. So if any seniors out there are still looking to apply, you can still do so. Um, and then we are, we do have a very holistic test. Um, we do look at all of our applications very holistically and we are also test optional. We've been test optional for a few years now. So that is a great way for our students to apply as well. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me um, at rmian at stmarys.edu. Thank you very much, Rachel. We're going to move on to our third college of the night, um, and that is Franklin College. All right, hopefully you can see my screen. Um, hi, guys, my name is Kelly Casey. I am one of our admissions counselors here at Franklin, if you can see my page here. If you have any questions, my information is linked below. Um, but I cover all of Ohio as well as different parts of Indiana. Um, so I've been at Franklin for just over a year and a half now. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a video just so you guys can see a quick overview of our campus. Oh, try that again.
All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that little snapshot of Franklin. Uh, here is a couple of our quick facts on our page. Uh, we are a very small institution. So we have about a thousand students on campus. Uh, we do represent about 17 states and then 10 different countries. If you're not really familiar with where Franklin is, we are about 20 minutes south of Indianapolis. Usually people know where the capital is. Um, our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one and then our average class size is about 15. So when I say small, I mean small. <laughs> uh, you're gonna know your professors very, very well at Franklin. In fact, uh, here's a list of all of our majors. We have about 50 majors, 40 plus programs for minors. Everything that you see with an asterisk on the screen is also considered a minor, as well as we have some pre-professional programs and then two graduate programs. Uh, one of the really unique things about Franklin is that we do offer an individualized major. So for students who don't see their, um, their major that they're hoping to study on here, there is a chance that we'd be able to work with you and create your own major. Um, some of our top majors include biology, journalism is really, really big here, education, and then exercise science. Um, why will you succeed at Franklin? Um, our numbers speak for ourselves. The smaller the classroom size, usually um, the happier the professor and the happier the student. Uh, you're gonna know your professors very well, like I said. A lot of our professors act as advisors. You're never gonna be taught by a teacher's assistant here at Franklin. Um, so they're gonna know more than just your name. They're probably gonna remember, you know, uh, which internship you did your junior year or what you decided to do as far as studying abroad. So um, those are just some of the things that offer, that we offer here at Franklin. Uh, we do offer a first year program called Launch. Uh, we've seen a whole, a whole bunch of success with this. It's only been um, about a year since we've launched Launch. Sorry for the dad joke. Um, but uh, we've seen a lot of success last year, actually. Um, the number of um, students who decided to not come back to Franklin decreased significantly. So um, we've been able to uh, keep students here as well as keep the success rate going, which is really exciting. Um, I mentioned studying abroad. Studying abroad is one of the things you could do during your immersive term here, uh, which is that sweet spot in between Christmas break and spring uh, spring term, basically. Uh, so immersive term is basically just a three-week period where you could either study abroad, do an internship, or a research opportunity. One of the things that Franklin, I think, it, one of the things at Franklin that is like the best thing ever, in my opinion, is that um, we offer an immersive term where you can do an internship. Every single student who comes to Franklin leaves with at least one internship under their belt. Typically, they'll have two or three, which is really nice when it comes to like competitors. When you're looking at jobs after when, or after college, um, you're able to have maybe three internships where other students might only have like one under their belt. So as far as professional development, um, you have a really good background when it comes to that. You are able to get up to 16 credit hours of just internship experience, which is also very helpful when it comes to professional development. Um, I know a lot of our out-of-state students uh, happen to be athletes, so we are a Division III school. Um, if you're an athlete, you're going to be in great company because over half of our student population is actually an athlete here. Um, so one of the great things about being a Division III athlete is that typically, if you really, really wanted to, you could, you could be a part of more than one sport. We also have intramural sports that a lot of students like to get involved in as well. As far as cost, obviously, with a small private liberal arts institution, typically there's a big uh, price tag at the bottom of that. However, every single student who comes to Franklin does receive some form of merit aid. So boom, you're in, you get some form of scholarship, which is really exciting there. Um, this year ranged anywhere from 7,000 to 20,000. And I know my time is almost up, so let me skip to my last slide. If you're interested in visiting Franklin, I have a QR code for you here, as well as an application code. So go and apply. Thanks. Thank you, Kelly. We're going to move to our next school, and that is Spalding University. Hello, everybody. Um, so let me pull up my screen real quick. All right. Hi, my name is Jessica Coriel, and I am a senior admissions counselor at Spalding University. Spalding University is located in downtown Louisville, Kentucky, so just a little bit away from you guys, not too far. Um, I have... There we go. Um, I have a short video just to give you a basic information about Spalding and then we'll continue on. Maybe I have a short video. Okay, well, I'll just skip that and give you the um, gist of the information. So we are a, um, a small liberal arts school, we have a student to teacher ratio of 10 to one. Typically our class sizes range 
um, from anywhere to 15 to 25 students. We keep it relatively small, that way that all students get to meet and know their professors and really get to engage in the classroom. Some basic admission requirements is that our automatic admission is a 2.5 weighted GPA and a 20 ACT score, or we are also test optional. If you have a 3.0 GPA, you do not have to submit test scores. Um, since we are small though, we look more holistically at the student. So if you do not meet those requirements, that's fine. We will then just request a personal statement that tells us a little bit more about you and um, why you think Spalding would be a good fit for you and really make the best decision um, about your um, ability to succeed at Spalding through that. The most unique thing about Spalding, I think, is our block schedule. So we do not have a traditional semester long schedule like most universities have. We actually, all of our students will only go to one or two classes at a time and they will be in a six week block. So students take their one or two classes Monday through Thursday for six weeks. At the end of the six weeks, they take their finals. They're gonna get a whole week off of school and then they come back and do it all over again with another one or two classes. This really allows for our students to hone in on those two classes, not trying to juggle five different subjects at the same time and really lets them focus in on the classes that they're taking. Um, with that being said, we still have all the traditional breaks that you'd see in the university between block two and block three is our Thanksgiving break. And then in the middle of block three, we do have our holiday breaks. So for Christmas and New Year, you'll get those two weeks off, come back and finish up that semester. And then a big break for us uh, being in Louisville is between block five and block six is actually the week of Derby. So students have the opportunity to really get involved in the community, see all the different events going on and really immerse themselves in the Louisville city. Um, and then also summer block is completely optional for students. It just gives them another opportunity if they wanna get ahead. So for scholarships and financial aid, Spalding is a small private liberal, liberal arts school. Our tuition sits right at $25,000 a year. Um, with room and board, it brings it up to about 33 a year. Um, however, all of our students receive some sort of financial aid. Um, typically, our, our merit scholarship is based off of both your GPA and your ACT score coming in. So you can see the chart on my screen that whatever GPA qualification you fall into, you will receive that base award associated with it. And then we're just doing a bonus award for ACT or SAT test scores, depending on which one you took. Um, it's just as long as you get an 18 ACT, you multiply that score times 100 and that's added on to your scholarship. And that's for each year for four years for students. Another big scholarship for you guys in Ohio is going to be our um, out-of-state student scholarship, it's 10% off of tuition and room and board. So you're already knocking down that cost a little bit just to start out with. Now for majors and programs, we have a whole bunch of different majors and programs. Some of the big ones that a lot of students are interested in is our business program, focusing um, on the business administration degree and then choosing your concentration after that. Um, we also have our criminal justice program, our education, um, two of our biggest majors are going to be occupational therapy, which we have the full doctorate program for, as well as nursing. And we have um, local resources with all the downtown hospitals, so students really get to have the immersive experience. And then we also are a NCAA Division III school. So with Division III, we aren't able to offer um, any athletic scholarships, but it is a great opportunity for students to get involved in campus life. About half of our students are also student athletes. So it's a really big part of our campus culture and it gives students really great opportunities to go to games and get involved in their campus life as well. So that's all I have for you. My name is Jessica Coriel, as I said, and my email is on screen. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help you out. Thank you very much, Jessica. We're gonna go on to our fifth school for the night, and that is North Umbria University in Newcastle. Thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, good evening, where I am. I'm currently in Newcastle, Northeast England. So it's just coming up to uh, half past 10 at night, but thank you for joining us this evening, this afternoon. So my name's Ian Harris, and I'm here to talk about Northumbria University. So welcome to Northumbria University and welcome to Newcastle. 
the northeast and you can see there's angels behind me and there's angels in front of me so this is the angel of the north one of our famous um, installations in the northeast of england and that's where we are located so hopefully moving on to the next slide which doesn't seem to be working particularly well there you go so we're, we're very proud of where we are and um, our location and that will become apparent as we progress through the presentation but where we are specifically is just on that map, northeast England, so we're the northernmost um, university city in England. But the UK is very small geographically compared to what most of you are used to in the States. So we have an international airport, which is 20 minutes outside the city centre on a metro. And from that airport, you can fly to many of the European hub cities, uh, capital cities, and also to Amsterdam, Paris, and down to London within an hour, an hour and a half. And then from there, you can connect to uh, a lot of the major US airports. If you want to travel within the UK, we have a uh, station which takes you by train to London in two hours, 45 minutes, three hours to Manchester, and actually 90 minutes up to Edinburgh, which is the capital of Scotland. So it is a, a beautiful place to explore further afield, irrespective of what's happening with Brexit, the UK is not moving geographically and you will have access to all of Europe at very affordable and, and easy ways to do so. As I said, with the metro, which connects you from the airport to the city centre, you can also connect from the city centre out to the coast. But within the city centre itself, where the university is located, we have a fantastic uh, point of view. So there's a river, the River Tyne, that runs through from east to west, west to east. Um, and on the right hand side, as we look at that picture, is the city of Newcastle on the left, where the wonderful shiny object that no one knows is actually a concert hall, is the city of Gateshead. So Newcastle has a population of around 300,000. There are two large campuses within the city centre. We have Newcastle University, we have Northumbria University, to which I work and represent. Um, the city itself, as a result of these large student um, population, one in six people in the city is a student. And that's reflected in the numerous times that we win UK's favourite student city. And, and as I progress in the presentation, you'll see some of the reasons why that is. One of those being it's a very safe city. And, and that comes from accessibility, familiarity. It's small enough to be familiar as a city, but big enough to live, to explore, to enjoy your freedom. As an 18 year old in the UK, you can pretty much do whatever you want within reason, of course. So the university itself is located right in the heart of the city. So from that wonderful view you've just seen, there's a 25 minute walk slightly uphill through the city center to the campus itself. The university is on the rise in terms of its rankings. Rankings feature very heavily when you hear from UK universities, I'm sure from US colleges as well. We're a top 400 global university, a top 30 UK university, and we have a fantastic reputation in terms of graduate employability. And that comes from a lot of our practice-led teaching, which is embedded in all of our curriculum. We're a university that's been doing that for over 100 years now. And we have uh, many internationally recognized accreditations, which students find incredibly valuable when they're looking to graduate from our university and then explore employment opportunities all over the world. So as well as our practice-led teaching, we have industrial placements um, within pretty much all of the majors. So whether that's a year internship, a year placement, or just some academic credits, which is crucial to you graduating that particular major, there are opportunities for you to engage with business and industry. So our academic offer. So we have over 200 three to four year majors. Just a note that in the UK, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, typically academic majors are three years long, four years with placements or even an integrated master's. Every student will have a personal tutor and we have a very good ratio, 16 to one staff student ratio. Further rankings in terms of teaching quality, we've been recognized as the QS five star ranking, which is right up there with the top ranking you can get. We do have some very unique academic experiences within our offer. So within those 200 majors, we have four academic faculties, business and law, uh, environment and engineering, health and life science, and art, design, and social science. We have a unique eye to eye partnership for those uh, prospective professional soccer players, a unique year in business and multidisciplinary innovation year in our Amsterdam campus. So lots of opportunities to explore outside of Newcastle as well. In the city, it's a very affordable place to live, and that's why we get that ranking for best student city. 
So you'll see their average living cost per month and our accommodation prices per week. Accommodation is guaranteed to all university, uh, all international students for the first year. We have catered and self-catered accommodation, your own single occupancy bedroom as well. And these are between five and 20 minute walk from the city centre and the campus itself. Beyond study, well, we have 31,000 students and a variety of activities that you can take place in across the campus as well. And just to bring to a close, our information on costs and entry criteria are just here with my contact details um, to close the presentation. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. We're going to move on to our last school for the evening, and that is Columbia College of Chicago. Hi, thank you so much, everyone. Let me go ahead and share my screen so that you'll get an opportunity to see my presentation. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull this up. Hopefully you can see everything. Okay. Hopefully you can see this in the presentation mode. I really hope you can. It's still not in presentation mode. Um, it's just in the regular. Okay. Let me see. I do have a double screen, so I might be doing that. Let me grab one more thing. Um, and then. You can probably see it in, not in the presentation mode, so I do apologize. I'm not quite sure why, and I don't want to take anyone else's time. So we'll go ahead and um, just dive right in um, from where we're at. Um, so um, I do want to just thank you so much uh, for having me tonight. Um, we are Columbia College Chicago. Um, and so I want to give you just a little bit of brief information about who we are as an institution. Um, and then my contact information at the end. Um, so Columbia, um, we are located in uh, downtown Chicago um, in a neighborhood called the South Loop. Um, we have hands-on learning opportunities um, for our students from day one when they first get to our campus. Um, we also incorporate uh, business preparation along with a liberal arts degree um, and kind of creative field. So mostly the arts um, that we really focus on um, at Columbia. Um, we have a little bit under 7,000 undergraduate students on our campus as well as graduate students because we do have a graduate school as well um, at Columbia. Um, we have usually each year close to 2,000 new freshmen that do join us on campus. Um, which we um, love. And I'll tell you a little bit about the application process in a second. Um, on average, class sizes are about 18 students. So we do keep small class sizes. Um, we have a 12 to one ratio for um, our students as well as professors. Um, and 16% of our students are first generation. So tuition and value is something that's super important to us. Um, we feel like students are going to need to figure out if we're not only a good fit for them, um, financially, it's something that's just as important as finding out if we're a good fit for them in terms of major and program that we offer. So we're here to, here to help students with all of that. Um, just to briefly let you know, we do offer financial aid. We're a private arts institution. We stand at about $28,000 for a full year, which is the fall and spring semester at Columbia. Um, but if you complete an application with us, you submit a FAFSA for us, um, and then you also submit a portfolio audition, um, you will actually be considered for all of the maximum scholarships that we have for any incoming students. So that's super important to know. You'll see a little bit more about numbers, how 97% of our freshman student coming in get an average aid package of about 25,849. And then our transfer students get close to 25,000 as well at $24,765. So please, please, please reach out to your Columbia representative. Um, it would be myself 
yourself if you're in the state of Ohio, and we can go over the information about your numbers. Um, just to give you a general sense, we really do feel like we have a very unique student body at Columbia. 42% um, of our students do identify as students of color. Um, we have students from about 50 countries, um, and we have students from all across America. Um, so we really do have a diverse population that we feel is really reflective of the city of Chicago where we are located at. Something that sets us aside. I get this question often from parents or from students. Um, one thing I will really, really say that sets us aside is our amazing faculty members. Um, our faculty members are actually in the fields that they teach. So they can actually let you know what's going on in the industry currently um, and help foster um, your direction um, once you leave um, the doors of Columbia and enter into the industry themselves. So we have many faculty members that have won Pulitzer Prize, they've won um, Emmys, Grammys, they've won all sorts of different things um, and accolades. So we definitely want our students to know that that faculty is there for you to completely utilize. Um, we are a creative learning environment. Here's a few photos of some of our uh, state-of-the-art um, places on campus, such as our Getz Theater, uh, that our musical theater students utilize, our Media Production Center, um, which has a green screen there for you to film, our fabrication facility, as well as our student center. Um, and we have just so many creative um, different opportunities um, on our campus that are fostered through these uh, specific facilities as well. Um, we are hands-on, as I mentioned, from year one. So you're actually getting a chance to do your major specific courses while you're doing your general education. We do have general education courses that you have to definitely take at Columbia, but you're actually doing them in conjunction with your major courses. So that's really awesome. Um, a list of some of our majors, we have about 120 though, um, currently, but we have performing arts, sound and music, communication, business management, media and digital art as well. And as I did mention, um, we do have that Columbia core where you do have to take general education courses like English, humanities, science while you're at Columbia, but you're actually folding those into your uh, major specific classes. Chicago, we are definitely um, wanting students to understand just how much we utilize the city of Chicago while you're at Columbia. Um, so please know that when you're at Columbia, it's super important what you're doing within the four walls of the school, but it's also super important what you're doing outside. And so we want you to utilize this great international city, um, this third largest media market at your disposal um, for internships, for um, creative inspiration, anything that you might need. And so we want students to know that um, they do have the city right at their fingertips. Um, how to apply really quickly. Um, we are rolling admissions. We start accepting applications, the new applications in August of each year. Um, and then from there, we do start to release admissions decisions starting in October on a rolling basis. Um, we are really friendly uh, to students. We have a holistic review process that we want you to keep in mind. Um, we're members of the Common App. We're also members of, um, we have our own Columbia application. So feel free to apply that way. And then I also uh, put my contact information up. Um, once again, my name is Kat Lewis and you can reach me at any time. Um, I would be happy to assist you throughout your higher education journey. Thank you. Thank you, Kat. Um, now I'm going to invite all of our panelists to come back on their cameras um, and I'm going to ask them one last question. We're going to go in the same order in which um, you guys have presented this evening. Uh, and the question I'd like to hear from you guys tonight is, what is your favorite event or tradition on campus? So we can start with Southern Illinois University. Hi, so sorry. So at the beginning of each year, we have our weeks of welcome. And so for the first six weeks, when students are on campus, there are events that are going on just to help students get integrated into campus life and to activities. Um, so there is everything, all, all days of the week. Um, so that's definitely one of my favorite traditions. Uh, and at St. Mary's College, my favorite tradition, we have um, the opening and the closing of the circle. So at the beginning of each school year, um, the entire campus community, since we only have about 1600 students, um, gathers in a big circle and welcomes all the freshmen in and closes the circle. Um, and then senior week, they do the opening of the circle where they do the same thing in the opposite direction and send the seniors out into the world. 
Um, my favorite tradition is actually our Franklin College drag show. Uh, it's probably the top uh, activity that we have on campus. Like it's sold out every single year uh, and all the proceeds to the drag show that students and faculty participate in. So it's really, really funny. Um, actually go to Indiana Youth Group, which uh, just helps students uh, who are in the LGBTQ plus community who are struggling. So that's my absolute favorite event. Um, my favorite event that we have is it's every spring at Spalding and it's actually our annual rat race. Um, it started, it's all revolved around the Kentucky Derby. So it's a couple of weeks before, like a couple of days before the actual race. Um, but our science department was working with these rats where they decided, oh, maybe we should try to see if we can race them. And so now there's an annual rat race of where we're seeing who's going to be the champion of the rats around campus, which is fun. Well, mine is going to be so boring now. Um, so uh, uh, in Newcastle, as I mentioned, it's a very um, it's a city with two big universities, and every year we have our annual Stan Calvert Varsity Tournament, where the two large universities, Northumbria and Newcastle University, compete over a range of fifty plus male female sports, um, and it's a very competitive week long um, competition. And um, Northumbria are the current holders of that tournament, of course. I would have to say Manifest, Manifest, Manifest. It's our urban arts festival that we do every May. It's really more so of like a senior showcase. Um, so we have like gallery openings, fashion shows, film screenings. We shut down the South Loop of downtown Chicago and we have like all sorts of people come from uh, across the country. Um, in our own city, we do, our students do a, like a parade down the middle of um, Wabash, which is a large street in downtown Chicago. We even invite some um, new incoming freshmen each year and they kind of are at the back of the parade. They close the parade off because they're kind of really kind of handing the torch to them. Um, it's just such an am amazing time. We usually have like a huge headliner. A couple years ago, we had LMA. Um, and so it's just like a really good time um, to kind of come together. It's like our homecoming, essentially, um, even though it's our senior showcase and we're, we're seeing them off before they graduate. Thank you all so much for sharing. Um, I love hearing about all the different things your universities do, and I'm sure the students do as well. So with that being said, um, I'm going to close us out for the evening. So thank you so much to everyone for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey that we'd appreciate your feedback from that if you can provide. Um, also, this was just one of many different sessions being hosted tonight. Um, so please feel free to sign up for additional sessions that will be happening in the next two hours. Um, in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as the re recordings of all the additional sessions. Thank you so much to our panelists um, and all those who have attended and I hope everyone has a wonderful night.